Hi guys, welcome back to another What I Eat In A Day video. Thank you so much for logging on and tuning in today. Um, and thank you so much for your comments on my last one. You guys are so, so nice. And honestly, the comments and all the loveliness that I get on those videos, they really motivate me to film more of these for you guys. And it's just so lovely that you're enjoying them and that they're inspiring you. And yeah, I just, I love that. So please comment down below and keep all those wonderful messages coming as well as a thumbs up. And if this is the first video of mine that you're seeing, um, I do regular what I eat in a day videos, all surrounding smart points, all surrounding the Weight Watchers plan. Um, but they're really realistic. They're not poncy in any way. They're really delicious for filling meals with the odd treat thrown in there as well. So I hope you all enjoy it and stick around for more. But today's no exception. It's a really great day of food. Um, I've already had my breakfast, which seems to be the case in most of these videos because I get in after school run and I'm hungry and I want to eat so I've had yogurt and fruit it was nothing too exciting but I'll insert that now the so breakfast is going to be relatively simple today as it is most days if I'm completely honest I'm going to go for this yogurt and um, I get from Aldi it's not Aldi's own brand this is actually Skyra but it's so so nice this is a papaya and mango flavor I don't like fresh fruit mango but for some reason I love mango yogurt um, so I'm gonna have that with some fruit. Um, so obviously the banana is free. Yogurt. Yeah, so 100 grams is three points, which is more than fine. I don't even think I need 100 grams to be honest, but I've got my scales out. And as I keep mentioning guys, if you do not have digital scales and you're pointing, you need some because they make your life so much easier. So I'm just gonna spoon out what I think I'll eat and then we'll see how much that is point value wise. So I'd say 100 grams is probably about fair, actually. Okay, so I've got my coffee as well. I don't track the milk um, I have in my coffee, by the way, but feel free to do that, guys. So yeah, three points. And this might not look like much yogurt, but this is a really deep bowl. So actually, there's, um, there's quite a lot in there. And I love that yogurt. It's really tangy, and I think it works well with the fruit. I'm looking outside now, and it is just covered in snow, and it's lunchtime. So I feel like having something quite warming. So I think I'm going to opt for something simple and have a bowl of soup. The soup that I get is from Aldi. Um, I normally have the Cajun um, potato one, which I adore. But I thought I'd go for something different today, and I picked up a pea and edamame one, which I'm excited about. So... Yeah, let's go and have lunch. And tonight, by the way, we're also having a roast chicken dinner, which I'm so excited about. To be honest, I was going to leave this for a weekend just because I feel like most people have roast dinners of a Sunday or at least of a weekend. But I figured, you know what? I'm going to do it midweek. I fancy it. I have chicken that I need to roast. So that's what we're having tonight. So I hope you all enjoy it. And again, it's going to be a fantastic one for the family, a fantastic one for the weekend if you do enjoy a Sunday roast. So yeah, let's go and have lunch. One that I'm going to have is this one by Aldi. It's new to me, so we'll see if I like it. This is the um, pea edamame and mint soup. I love edamame, I love peas, and I quite like mint. Like, you know, I don't, I, I feel indifferently towards that part of it, but yeah, we'll see what that is. And I'm just going to point it, but I feel like this whole tin is two points because I remember pointing it at the supermarket to check it, so yeah. Another soup I recommend from Aldi, if you haven't tried it, and I pick this one up all the time, is this one here, which is the sweet potato, or the Cajun sweet potato um, and lentil soup. That is so nice and quite chunky and filling. I feel like this might be quite smooth. Oh, it's a bit wibbly. It's like, <laughs> it's like mushy peas from the chippy, which I'm not complaining about. I like mushy peas, although it doesn't look quite soup-like just yet. And to go along with my soup, I'm going to push the boat out and I'm going to have a slice of this Hovis Seed Edition bread. I really like this. Um, I don't have bread often, but when I do, this is the butter I use from Aldi. It's the Norpak butter. I really like it. I actually find it really similar to Lurpak and I use Lurpak for years and I honestly cannot tell the difference. So if you're a Lurpak fan, perhaps give this a go. Uh, one serving is two points, but again, I don't, I don't track my butter because I don't have it um, very often and that's what my weeklies are for when I'm not quite sure I don't really feel like tracking something but yeah it may not look appetizing guys but it smells really good so it's a little bit later in the day now I've just done the school run I took the car today because it was snowing um so yeah we're going to be having this roast chicken for dinner and I'm going to do like a Sunday roast situation so I'm going to make some homemade mash I have some potatoes I'm going to just point the mash at the end per scoop or whatever I've got some carrots some assorted green veg broccoli um sugar snaps peas that kind of thing 
I have the chicken, I have something to make a rub out of, I've got some garlic and some lemon, I'm gonna get some butter as well and some spices, and I also have some red onion as well. I'm going to use a bit of butter. I use a lactose free just because Andrew doesn't have um, lactose products um, but feel free to use any butter that you would like. roasters that we use they're the Sainsbury's taste the difference King Edward ones I don't really eat roasters if I'm honest but I'm gonna try and eat a couple because I haven't had as much food as I would like today um, so I'm gonna try and like bulk it up this evening but I feel like these are five points per hundred grams I'm nowhere near gonna have a hundred grams but for point wise that is what they are um, yeah that's those there so yeah I'm gonna be pointing those along with one of these Aldi Premier Yorkshire puddings and these are three points each which I think is great because they're quite sizeable um, so yeah I really like these delicious but I'm defeated it was such a massive portion that I couldn't manage it but I had a good go so dinner was delicious as I said I didn't manage it but I kept the pointing the same but I do have five points to use up today I don't track my marinades um, or my oils and things like that unless I use a lot of them but feel free to do that guys if you're being super strict or if you're not maintaining like myself I'm a little bit more relaxed now with things and I kind of know what I can and can't get away with so that's why I don't track my milk and things like that so I have a coffee here which I've just prepared and I'm gonna have a bit of a treat um, I'm gonna have some of this walnut cake from Aldi and I'm just gonna use up um, the last of my points value which is 30 grams for five points this is just under at 29 so that takes me to the end of my points and the end of the day so i hope you all enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up or comment down below if you like it and you would like to see more what i eat days from me and i'll see you in my next one